Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today we are going to learn how to install Nextcloud on Docker using Fortainer. Nextcloud is a file manager that allows you to share and sync your files across different machines and access them from any of your mobile devices. It's kind of a self-hosted version of Dropbox. So the first thing we're going to do is open our Fortainer, click Container, and click Add Container. We'll call this one Nextcloud. We'll be using the Linux server.io Nextcloud container. We will need to publish port 443 and attach two volumes. One volume is going to be for our Nextcloud configuration folder. In the container, the configuration folder is going to be at slash config, and it's going to be a bind mount. I'm going to bind it to slash home slash pi slash docker slash next cloud slash config. And then we need to map our data folder. So the folder on our system that hosts all the files that we want to sync. We'll call this folder slash data. And I'm going to bind it to slash home slash pi. Next, we need to set our environment variables. There will be three. Process user ID is going to be 1000. Process group ID is going to be 1000. Um, and we have to set our time zone. We want to change our restart policy to unless stopped, and now we can deploy our container. All right, it says our container is successfully created. Let's check our logs. All right, now we'll visit Nextcloud by going to port 443 in our browser. It's going to be our host IP address colon 443. The, the first thing Nextcloud wants us to do is create an admin account. So we'll use the username admin and the password of your choice. Okay, we'll click finish setup. Go through this little tutorial. It'll give you the option to download the different apps to your mobile devices. And we'll click on start using Nextcloud. So up here is the navigation bar. We'll click on files. see all of our different files. Let's click on a text document. Automatically saved. Let's close that. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. If I helped you in any way, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks.